Okay, I'm going to try this one more time. Actually, I've done it a few. Um, doing a demo on a glass heart dichro blue with red exotic base. Hope you enjoy it. And click like, click subscribe. You know the deal. Thank you. Bye. Good afternoon, good morning, whenever, whatever. I'm going to do a demonstration on a diachroic heart. Valentine's Day is coming up, and yes, I know I've done one before, but it's not the only diachroic heart that can be made in the world, right? And again, Valentine's Day is coming up. First, I'll heat up. Make sure the diachroic that you're going to use is film side up or the the diachroic film that's on the glass. I did a demo on and explaining what diachroic glass is. Some people call it dichro. I call it diachroic. Um, I have a lot of a little bit of everything. Done a lot of a little bit of everything. Okay. Got to heat up some glass. Then I'm going to press it into that piece of dichro. And I'm going to make a heart out of it. I think I'm going to make it with a red background. Why? Oh yes, it's it's Valentine's Day coming up. <laughs> Actually, hearts are good any time of the year. Beats me why, ha ha ha. Pun intended, of course. Heat it up. Once you've pressed it in, again, you you want to get it nice and glowing and just press it right on into that glass. There we go. Now, red, 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 rusty red. Yes, yeah, so I've got some. I did a demo on doing this red exotic the other day, which you can watch at your leisure. This is going to give it a nice rusty blood red color on the back of the, the dichro. Although it's going to have a sparkly glue go, blue going on there. I think that still will be cool. And the way I layer that in is I more or less just fold and pull towards the outside edge there. You can basically see what I'm doing. I know I'm not talking much. I'm babbling on at the moment so oh well sorry sorry instead of giving explanation high tech wire cutters press it one way press it another I, I gave it a little turn and then pressed it another way and it sort of comes out Nips that right in the bud, basically. And now, let it melt in to itself. High-tech pressing device. Needle nose pliers adapted. Needle nose pliers brazed in the rod with uh, electrical discs from, you know, electrical boxes that, you know, they, they used to be made out of metal. Some of them still are probably. Now, another really heavy duty high tech device. A butter knife, a knife, stainless steel I usually use. Okay. That'll work real good. You'll love this. Ready? One, two, and press in. Roll it one side, roll it the other. And now you have your basic heart shape. I'll press it out in the point in the bottom. Put a bail loop on the top. 
But basically, round it in a little bit too. You can sit there and try to make it look perfect. Work on it for hours. But, all said and done, sometimes get in, do the job, get out. You don't have to get in, play around with the job, try to make it better than what you think it can do. Well, actually, yes, you got to learn. I admit that. And sometimes it's going to take a little time to do that job. But when it finally said, all said and done, five, ten minutes, you should be done with a, a heart like this. Just like me and my videos, between the intro and the exit and chatting with you, I'd say about five, ten minutes. Seal it in. <sighs> Graphite rod makes a great reamer. If you got other types, that's fine too. If you can get all the tools, fine. If you can't get all the tools, there's this thing called improvisation. It works out well. Okay. Heating it up near the bottom of this. And start pulling. And it'll pull itself into a point, of course. And we have one diachroic, very hot, heart. Hope you enjoyed it. I did. Enjoy your day. Get the right angle. Diachroic. Blue diachroic with red base background. And you could wear it that way too because then it has some nice patterns going on. Hope you enjoyed the video.